In this lesson, we're going to be creating and chaining curves that will become features or the boundaries for features um, for our part. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a groove that's approximately 1.25 inches long by a half an inch deep. Now, since this is a cylindrical part, that half an inch deep on one side of the z-axis will in turn result in a total diameter change of one inch. And we'll see this as we translate the part uh, in, in the next lesson where we actually create the feature to be machined. But for now, let's go ahead and create the geometry and then we'll chain that geometry into a curve. So let's set up for that by going to the Create Geometry and we're going to create a vertical line. So we'll go ahead and create the first vertical line on the second set of grid lines. So let's go ahead and lay out our second vertical line five grid points to the left, that'll be 1.25 inches uh, from the first one that we drew. And we'll go ahead and, and create a horizontal line, two grid lines from the top, which is a half of an inch. So now what we need to do is we need to trim the unneeded portions of our geometry. And to do that, we'll go ahead and select the clip function, and we'll begin to clip our lines away that are unneeded. Now note what happens when I clip the top line, it inadvertently trims the entire line. Inadvertently, I've trimmed the entire line. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted it to, to make the cut at this edge of the part. So note that it's not, uh, it's, and the reason it's doing that is because there is no line that I've drawn that defines the edge of the part. So I'll need to do that. So let's undo, and I'm gonna go ahead and create one more horizontal line and we'll place that line right at the edge of the part, like so. And now we can go back and we can clip the unneeded portions of our line. We'll also clip the portions of the horizontal line, and then we'll also clip this center portion, which is unneeded as well. So essentially what we're left with is three line segments, one on the right, a vertical, a horizontal, and another vertical here on the left. So now that we have the geometry defined, we want to chain that into a curve. And recall from module three, this is a pretty simple process to do. And we're going to do that by going to the steps menu and we'll select curves. And we're going to chain pieces of geometry into an open boundary. So let's select that. And now it's telling us it'll be curve one and we'll select the first line of our curve, the second line of our curve, and the third line of the curve. And when it's complete, we will create it, and we are done. And we've essentially done all that we need to do, at least at this point, to create and chain the geometry that will become the groove feature in our next lesson.